Mexico. Hi, I'm Bob Morris, University of Nevada Cooperative Extension. I'm here at the University of Nevada Research and Demonstration Orchard in North Las Vegas. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about freezing damage on fruit trees and fruit crops. Behind me here is a very sensitive uh, fruit tree to winter uh, freezing temperatures. This is a pluot in particular. Uh, it is a flavor supreme pluot that was planted uh, almost 15 years ago. It's a wonderful product, but our problem is because we're in North Las Vegas with a cold northwest wind that blows through our property here, we lose a crop probably one or two years out of every three years. So during this time of the year, which is right now we're in late February and March, we're monitoring the temperatures, our nighttime temperatures. If those temperatures drop into freezing at all, which they did about a week ago, down to 29 degrees, uh, we're holding our breath whether we're going to have a crop of pluots or not. So the way that we're going to check this, I'm going to show you, it's very quick. You'll wait a few days until that freezing damage is passed and you know if it's going to set fruit or not. And you sample it by getting one of the blossoms. Notice how the blossoms are now spent. They've gone ahead and finished. Uh, they're now brown. It's not from the cold. It's because uh, they've been open for well over a week and they're starting to fade. So what I'm going to do now is remove one of those blossoms. In fact, you're better off... Uh, taking more than one blossom and I'm going to take the calyx off of this flower and if you'll notice right there there's a tiny little pluot and that pluot looks very healthy so these freezing temperatures to 29 it probably wasn't low enough for long enough time it looks like we're gonna have a nice crop of pluots this year